up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know. That's icydk.blog. Once again, it's icydk.blog. Make sure you'll check them out on all World Wide Web and all mobile devices. So we got a lot to talk about today. We have to get it started off uh, with the girls Black Pink. So while Beyonce was releasing Renaissance, Black Pink released their new single, Ready for Love. Now, this is right ahead of their highly anticipated comeback, which is they're supposed to be coming back with more music in August. So um, Blackpink, they teamed up with X uh, PUBG Mobile to put together Ready for Love, which is a virtual uh, music video. And the song is, is real dope. We got a chance to hear uh, Blackpink Lisa rap again. And her part was way too short. But this music video, since coming out eight hours ago, has 8 million views on it. So it's it's doing a little bit more than a million an hour. Last time we saw numbers like that, it was um, um, WAP. And then right before that, we had 6 9 and Nicki Minaj for a while. They were doing a million an hour. And he also was averaging a million an hour when he first came back with his first song. I think it was called Gooba, I believe. But um, shout out to Blackpink. Looking forward to getting into them and giving you some black pink tea <laughs> as well. Um, I like the song. I, I, you know, it's, I think it's a great comeback song. And it's going to get people anticipated for August. So shout out to Black Pink. Uh, I, I think I'm pronouncing the name right. Jenny, um, Jenny, Jisoo, Lisa, and Rose. I'm going to get the right, um, I, I still haven't got their pronunciations right. I think Jenny's name is pronounced different. And I think Jesu's name is uh, pronounced different too. But <laughs> I'll make sure that I have it. Moving on to uh, Jason Lee. Now, he was on a podcast. And let me tell you what uh, Jason Lee said. Let me let you hear what Jason Lee said. And then we'll come back and unpack it. Who do you think has the biggest impact you had to choose between Rihanna and Beyonce? Rihanna. What? what? I think they're both very different. I think that they're the Michael Jackson and Prince of this era. Mm, yeah, so I think, I think both of them are at the top in their own right. Rihanna has better, more timeless music that's going to last forever. But Beyonce is, a, is an amazing performer. Do you think Nicki deserves to be in the top three? I think Nikki is, she deserves to be at the top, period. She's a, I, I wouldn't even just say for female rappers. I think for rap in general. Nikki is the blueprint. No, 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 just, no, 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 nope, no, nope, no, nope, I don't nope, know about no. blueprint. No, no, <laughs> Everybody got their nope, own. No, nope. Little Lil Kim, Kim is Kim, the yeah. blueprint. Yeah. yeah. So do you think without Lil Kim, there would be no Nicki Minaj? I think without Lil Kim, Hold there on. wouldn't be any of the Anybody. girls that we see now. Now, I'm going to unpack what he said. I kind of agree with him and kind of disagree with him. <clears throat> First question, as far as I'm saying, who do you think will have the biggest impact in the music business? It is definitely Beyonce. She has the biggest impact. But as far as him saying the the uh, last, long lasting of the songs, I I definitely agree with him. Rihanna to me has more timeless hits than Beyonce has. Uh, but Beyonce had a bigger impact, I think, on music. Than Rihanna did, even though Rihanna is going to have the more number ones and she totally got you know the more hits and so more records, but just Beyonce's impact on the music business. Also, I mean, just look at the album she just put out. You know, look at her. You know, changing the release dates of when you release music, and when she was like the first one to really do the um, surprise drop. You know, at least out of women. So I definitely agree with him that Rihanna's songs are going to are going to have long, you know, a longer playback effect than Beyonce, in my opinion. 
she's got, you know, music, like, please don't stop the music and um, only girl in the world. Those songs are going to be playing from now into eternity. Wherein I don't think Beyonce has as many songs with playback value, you know, as uh, Rihanna has. And as far as Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim, um, you can look up the article. I mean, you can look up the clip to see what else he said. But as far as those two go, I agree with him that while Lil' Kim might be Nicki's blueprint, I think the new girls, Nicki Minaj, is their blueprint. And I'll tell you why. I'll explain that. Lotto is 23 years of age. Right? Lotto's 23. Megan Thee Stallion's what? 27? Um, who else is out there? How old is... What's the one of the other girls doing it? Well, Doge is what? 30? How old is Doja Cat? If Megan is, uh, so Doja Cat's 26, okay? Doja Cat's 26 years old. So Lil' Kim is, what, 48? So when Lil' Kim was 20, uh, let's say Doja's 26. What about Dream Doll? I always Dream Doll. When Lil' Kim was 25, Lotto wasn't even born. All right? When Lil' Kim was 25, Lotto wasn't even born. I dreamed I was 30. I think any of the girls, um, I'll say 35 and older might be, their blueprint might be Kim. Because Kim's 48, 13 years older than them. I think any girl... Under 30, Nicki Minaj is probably their blueprint. And I guess you could still say, of course, he said, well, without Lil' Kim, it wouldn't be any of these new girls. Well, because without Lil' Kim, there wouldn't be any Nicki Minaj. And if she is the blueprint for those other girls, of course not. But it's kind of like Steph Curry. Steph Curry's uh, blueprint to him, his idol was Reggie Miller, Right? But when guys go out there, the, the young cats going out there, they're not saying, oh, the blueprint is Reggie Miller. They're saying the blueprint is Steph Curry. You understand what I'm saying? So where I think that Nikki and I'll say Nikki, I'll say um, who's in their 30s? What rappers in their, you know, mid to high 30s? You know, Cash Doll. Trina, um, you know, rappers like that. Remy, hello, it's Remy. You know, I think that there, that Lil' Kim has, you know, five and six years on these girls, right? Remy's 42, Kim's 48. So when Kim was, eh, that, that's a little too, that's really the same generation. But any of the girls that are rapping now, in their 30s or, or what have you. I think you may think of, of Kim being more of their uh, role model or their their um, blueprint. And Kim was Nicki Minaj's blueprint. So the, the younger girls, they're going to look to Nicki Minaj and say, you know, they, don't, they didn't really hear little Kim. I mean, if they were 10 years old when, when Kim was 35, were you listening to little Kim at 10? You know, I'm sure some girls were, but I agree and disagree with him on that. I think that um, uh, the newer, newer girls are probably looking more at Nikki. And the older girls up like 30 and plus whatever, they might be more uh, Lil' Kim. But Lil' Kim definitely, like I said, she's on my Mount Rushmore. Um... And she was definitely Nikki's blueprint, that's for sure. And um, anybody that tries to deny that, you're just not being honest with yourself. But I do believe these new girls, their blueprint is Nikki. 
It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please let you know, let me know what you thought about that. Hope I explained it properly. And uh, just let me know down in the comments below what you think of these topics. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.